How's the setup going, Kinsey? It's hard for me to move this thing over. I'll explain it again real slow. I want to broadcast your subconscious into the Decker Usernet. Then you'll be able to interact with the avatars of users and corrupt the abstract representations of data that are the cornerstone of their online operation. To do that, I need... A Nemo chair, of course. A what chair? Nemo, Neurological Electromagnetic on Neuroscope. The KGB destroyed the only one in existence. The Deckers have one. Impossible. How could they miss the signal? They're keeping it here. Clever. Okay, nerd time is over. What is this thing? And Kinsey, for fuck's sake, keep it simple. <sighs> I need the chair to stop the Deckers. Thank you. Once we get to the nuclear plant, I'll need to cut the external power uplinks to the main building. Why don't we just run in and take the chair? Well, we could if you want all its circuitry to fry as we try to disconnect it from the power grid. I'm guessing that would be a bad thing? Yeah. So if you're looking me up to this thing, it's gonna be comfortable, right? How should I know? It's a chair. Yeah, but are we talking padded leather that reclines or some wicker bullshit? <laughs> That's what you're worried about? If your ass is gonna be comfy? These details are important! Whoa. How about some music? No thanks. Come on. Some techno or dubstep? That's all over the internet, right? Not interested. You don't like easy listening shit, do you? God, no. In what? 80s rock? Death metal! Hardcore gangster rap. Seriously? locations. Keep the Deckers off me while I disable each one. This looks like it. Buy me the time to shut down this power node. You got it.
Scheiße. How's it going in there? These things take time. Yeah, you should just let me shoot it instead. Two down, last one, and we're in business. Chair. Nope. Now we go up in a helicopter. A helicopter? They could be keeping the chair anywhere. I have to triangulate its exact location first while you... I have to protect your ass. Got it. See? We're communicating. Where's it landing? In front of the plane. You do, and I'll take care of the rest. It's simple. I measure the... Not asking for a lesson here. Great. Forgot. You find anything yet, Kinsey? There's a lot of power output coming from this plate, so it's hard to get a lock on the chair. No shit, it's a power plant. I need more time. All right, let's go get... Just you, and you'll have to take the quick way. The Deckers may already be destroying the chair to keep it from us. Quick way? Yeah, jump.
I'm in, Kinsey. Cut the chair from their system by disabling the router connections. So, press the off button on the consoles. That's what I said, wasn't it? What the hell is Miller doing in here? We're planning the next world war? It's what I do. Whoa. to see the blue screen of death. <laughs> <laughs>
was easy. with the Saints. Shut down. The truth's still pulling power from the system. I didn't get it. Well, it's still plugged in. Oh. Cut that link, too. I really need to do some aggression. Pierce, you know if that chair thing is ready yet? I don't know. Why ask me? Talk to Kenzie or Oleg. Cause you, I can understand. I think they said they'd be done pretty soon. We could probably head over whenever. Alright, see you when I get there. You ready to fuck things up in virtual reality? Safer than being shot at. You can survive a gunshot, but if your mind takes too much shock in this chair, you'll go brain dead. Great plan, Kinsey. I know. You ready? Let's do it. Alright, 
You should be seeing a visual representation of the Decker Usenet now. You know what I see, Kenzie? I'm a fucking toilet, that's what. Oops, sorry about that. Let me load up another. I thought you knew what you were doing. I haven't finished your avatar yet. That one's just temporary. I don't have arms! Just start moving through the data. I'll sort it out soon. This isn't much better. Are you trying to tell me something, Kinsey? You're complaining, you big baby. Now this I can work with. Good, because Matt sniffed me out. This is my world to shape as I see fate, not yours. Alright, looks like Matt doesn't want you poking around here. You'll have to work your way through his defenses. Let's take out Firewall first. Firewall? What is it and how will I find it? It blocks us from accessing the Decker's data. You'll know when you see it. I gotta read this shit? Come on, Kinsey, how do I get out? And ruin it for you? No way, you gotta figure this out on your own. Thanks, Kinsey. Oh, fuck you, door.
Fix the fucking flagstones here. Then why mention the damn hole? <sighs> I hit the goddamn button. Dick move, unicorn. Dick move. Uh, I feel like an asshole now. I'm not going to be beaten by some noob you dragged into my world, Kensington. Okay, we're back in business. Now let's take out Matt's antivirus next. That was easy. Am I my toilet again? I think this is more fitting. Wouldn't you agree? Give me some time, I'll fix it. Hey, still have my cannon. Why am I in a tank? Just go with it. Kinsey? I see it, I see it! Pathetic! Oh, I'm gonna enjoy kicking that kid's ass. Too easy! I see one more wall ahead. It's his internet security protocols. They're blocking access into the main... Yeah, whatever you said.
Miller doesn't know when to quit. It's his album wrote the man himself. You like the place? It's more level than I played season three, episode five of the Cyprian Order. Here is where the common place is planned for it. Boy, you modeled this shit off of Nightblade? It's an allegory for man's inhumanity to man. No, it's a shitty vampire show. I don't expect a chuckle fuck like you to appreciate good writing. giant tubes are feeding into? Ah, that can't be a trap or anything. Must be his direct feed into the world, while his information flows through. Yeah, that's definitely a trap. Again with the comforting skills. <laughs> Easy to laugh when you're hiding like a pussy. Come on out! Gladly. Just fine. In the real world, you're just a bitch with the keyboard. Oh, no. Here, you cannot beat me. We'll see about that. Alright, just don't die until I figure out how to copy his avatar. You can't mind when you don't know which way it's out.
Hi, Matt. Wait! I can clear your name. Prove that you didn't destroy that bridge. I'm sure Kenzie can figure it out. I literally have the world at my fingertips. A little vague, Matt. Gotta do better. You tell me the name of a company, and it becomes the property of the Saints. You get your empire back, and I get to walk away. Kid, now we're talking. What are these? They're back doors into company records. One door leads to a weapons manufacturer, giving you discounts on weapon upgrades. And the other? An automotive parts distribution house. They'll discount work done on your cars. Pick one and I'll get you set up as a high-priority client, I swear! I really wish you'd reconsider, Maddie. These hands of mine were meant to rend bone, not hunt and peck on a keyboard. Oh, well, if typing's the issue, I can recommend some good voice recognition software. I, I know the best... Shh. You stuck with me when I rose from Philippe's ashes like a phoenix. You and me, we've bonded. That's lovely, but I feel it's time for me to move on. To, to, to be honest, I'm a little scared of... Well... Dying. I do run a demanding workplace. Maddie, I appreciate how you shared your concerns. I mean, the way Viola and Kiki handled their uh, departures made me just want to kill someone, you know? Oh, absolutely. Well, I've got a flight to catch, so. Maddie. Oh, God. Feel free to list me as a reference anytime. <laughs>